Check out these jaw-dropping images of mummified birds captured by photographer Nick Brand. Flamingos, eagles, doves, even swallows. What on earth happened here? Well, they all have one thing in common, Lake Natron, the lake that turns animals into stone. And today we're going to talk about it. But before that, if you love weird, strange geology and earth science facts, hit the follow button. It really helps me out. So how did those animals turn to stone? Well, Lake Natron doesn't instantly fossilize creatures like a real life Medusa. What actually happens is even stranger. The lake is packed with sodium carbonate, the same stuff ancient Egyptians used to use for mummification. They used it to dry out the bodies. See, when an unadapted animal dies near the shoreline or falls into the water, the extreme chemistry dries it out and coats it in minerals, preserving it as an eerie calcified statue. It's a natural form of mummification. And all of this weirdness starts where the lake sits. See, Lake Natron lies inside the East African Rift, a massive tear splitting the continent apart. Right next door is Oldonio Lengai, the only volcano on Earth that erupts carbonatite lava. It's rich in sodium and potassium carbonates, the exact minerals that end up in the lake. If you're interested in Oldonio Lengai, I've made a video on that. Check the description. Natron is also an endorheic basin, meaning water flows in but never flows out. The only escape is evaporation, and since this region is scorching hot and bone dry, the lake becomes a giant chemical concentrator. Every drop that evaporates leaves its minerals behind, and the water just gets more extreme. Now, how extreme? Well, pH level 10 and above, similar to bleach. Water temperatures can often reach 40 degrees Celsius, and the shallow edges can reach 60. And speaking of shallow, the lake is usually less than 3 meters deep, but it stretches for nearly 57 kilometers. Now you'll probably notice the color. The insane red and pink tones come from halophiles, salt-loving microorganisms that produce red pigments when the water becomes super concentrated. And despite everything you've heard so far, this toxic lake is a nursery for life. About 75% of the world's lesser flamingos, yep, flamingos, hatch here. It's an area safe from predators who want nothing to do with the bleach hot, mineral saturated waters of this lake. So yeah, one lake, blood red colors, bleach level chemistry, mummified animals, and a flamingo nursery. Earth is wild. And if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.